In part three of our 15 Essentials workshop, we've been spotlighting for the last several weeks some of the best content that was in this big workshop that we did recently. And I'm super jazzed to share with everybody today, seven ways to get listings now. That's right. Join us today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 192. That's right, 192. And you can find all of our show notes over at WBNOPodcast.com. Jan O'Brien, this has been really fun to actually to go back and revisit these uh, topics that we covered in our our course. Super stuff, We've been, or super great stuff. We've been getting good response from people uh, asking some questions about uh, how they can, you know, kind of supercharge their business uh, for the new year that's coming up. So what are we talking about today? Honestly, we're going to talk about listings, but I just wanted to say that if you wanted to be able to go back and if you missed this workshop, uh, Matt has broken it down into three segments. Uh, we've been spotlighting. This is the last week that we're going to spotlight a snippet from that. And it's all part of our Dream Builders group. We have a yeah. free Facebook group over at Dream Builders. Let's talk about it right now in case somebody doesn't hang in there all the way. Great. So in our uh, in our Facebook group, you just go over. It's actually facebook.com forward slash groups WBNL. Actually, let's send, let's let's send them to our website, Jan, because that way they'll get access to all of our courses. Oh, that's exactly right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Matt Matt has it set up way better. So what you do is you go to WBNL Coaching because let's tell you what you get. You don't just become a member of our 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 private Facebook group. You when you come to WBNL Coaching, hit the green big green button that says Join Dream Builders. That's right. We are going to give them what we're going to. They're going to get instant access to all our free stuff, right, Matt? That's right. Instant and access to all of our courses. So there's a couple business planning courses in there. Uh, there's just some great free uh, uh, coursework, but also access to all of our free. Um, documents as well. And we've got some really powerful things in there, like the Agent Epic Checklist, with uh, which is a 13-page checklist that will walk you through, gosh, everything you might ever need to know about. Your I'm real halfway business. through it right now. Yeah. And Dan, why did you create that checklist? Talk a little bit about Because I'm that. getting organized over here in Florida. And I was like, oh my God, there's so many things to do. And I, I took checklists that I'd use as a broker when I was bringing on new agents. And added to it while I was like, what are all the things I need to do to have all my systems set up for here in Florida, like they are in Nevada. And I expanded on that and I'm using it right now. And I'm happy to say I'm halfway through it. And I have identified the areas when I'm done with one thing, I move on to the next area that I need to focus on. So it's been super helpful. And we get, we're giving that to you completely free. You can take it, use it, customize it. It'll help you. I'm sure yeah, for anybody listening, if you're new, if you've recently changed companies, this will help you. If you're just anybody that has been in the real estate business, I guarantee you there's something in here. You're like, wow, I should probably do that. That's Absolutely. what you're going to get with that checklist. The Epic checklist is aptly named <laughs> Epic. It Epic. is an incredible list. We also have a brand checklist in there. So if you're working on your brand for the first time or enhancing your brand, uh, kind of the steps to walk through on that and where you can go to make sure you don't miss anything that you have branded. One thing that I have noticed a lot when I talk about this is that a lot of times when we talk about branding, we're thinking about social media and websites and everything, but you would be surprised how many things are still on paper that you need to make sure is upgraded on your brand. And that's in the checklist too. Still we have our new, updated, our new updated My Path 2020, which is just the most incredible data daily uh, tracking system, not just daily, daily, weekly, monthly, and annually as well. That gets you through the marketing calendars. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. There's a plethora of documents that are free to you when you join the Dream Builders group. Then also uh, early access to free events that we might be having, like the Essentials uh, course that we just did, and uh, member discounts on all of our courses. So head over to WBNLCoaching.com, hit click the big green button, and go over and become a Dream Builder. And then, of course, we'll get you invited to the Dream Builders group where we will do those monthly Ask Us Anything. So, so today, it's seven ways to go get listings. Now, you certainly don't want to maybe do all of them, but I bet you're going to find at least two or three that you're like, I'm doing that. And we, we will go into the details of those and share that information with you. So just hang in there. And here it comes. Yeah, buckle up. Learn how to list to last. Let's talk about seven ways right now that you can go get um, listings. Okay. Number one, talk to your damn clients. Talk to the people in your database. 
Okay, we already talked about how to do a CMA. You could just, if you haven't checked in with them during this whole pandemic, then you know you need to check in with something like, hey, with everything that's been happening in the last two years, year and a half, has anything changed for you? Have you got any new needs in your home? Did you know that this is the value of your home? That's how this whole, this whole conversation can go. Honestly, talk to your people. And a couple of the things around this is four annual connections, right? This is our basic thing about how to get more business out of your database, listing sales and referrals. And it's to have um, ways to stay in touch with them. We've talked a little bit about it already, the annual CMA, the monthly newsletter, birthday connections. I call it your client appreciation or your VIP program. Do those things and you'll get business from it. Number two, open house. This is a real open house I did last week, okay? Um, I ran this ad because Cosmo taught me how to do it. Cosmo, are you proud of me that, that I did this? I didn't even ask you to help me. I did it all by myself. Yeah, it's amazing. Looks really good. All right, so here's what happened. And it's Florida. It's different. Vegas is a lot more competitive. I did a lead ad. There's a couple of things missing in here. And all I did was open house, 55 plus active community, learn more. And then when they clicked, it said, get the address, driving directions, and a link to all the property details. I ran this ad for three days prior to the, uh, to the open house and up through in the open house, the day of the open house. And I spent $78 and I got 46 leads. 46 people gave me their name, email, and phone number. I then uh, the day of, I sent a, just an email saying, Hey, thanks for connecting with me. You recently responded to my promotion for my open house in case I want to personally invite you in case you can't make it Here's some more information about it. How can I be of assistance to you? Two people responded to that email that couldn't come to the open house. I just sold my listing from the open house and I am now working with two people, um, who, want to go look at one, one, I showed it to both people and they don't want this one. I'm going to go show them something else. And I have to follow up with, well, three bad emails, 40 something other leads that I need to follow up with. Okay. This stuff can work. Um, by the way, in our training course, um, uh, Cosmo has stuff in there on how to do Facebook ads. Okay. It's not hard to do. They can still work. They don't work everywhere, but I have been doing open houses since September. And that is how I have 50% of the people I'm working with. Why? Because I do an open house the way we teach it. And I have a good attitude about it. And I feel confident about what's going on in the area. And I can talk to people and I convert them. All right. And it's all, it works. Open houses work. All right. So I encourage you. And you know why I'm saying listings? Because 30% of the people who have come to my open houses have a house to sell. Okay. So I have all these leads. They're not ready now that need to sell their house first. And then they're going to buy. That's why you want to always, in my opinion, continue to do open houses. If you don't have listings, call someone else who does because that agent probably doesn't like doing open houses and you can benefit from it. All right. Even outside of your brokerage, check with your broker first. Okay. Um, this is something else I've done. And I have the listing that I just sold at my open house. I got from this idea, which is I sent um, to absentee owners, um, you know, investors and absentee owners. I uh, actually sent a postcard, but this is a whole nother idea that you can do. I love this idea because if you get people who are investors that are in your market, in your neighborhoods that you like, and they don't live here, they may not know exactly what's happening in the market. So I highly recommend that you either send a letter if they have tenants in there, it doesn't matter. Mail to the address that's on the tax records. I use Remind. Okay, I have it like right here. I use Remind. Uh, Nevada, you can get the title companies to help you. Florida, not as much. I use Remind here in Florida. You guys have Remind in Nevada. Um, I don't know about California, um, but a lot of MLSs use Remind. And I actually sent a postcard I'm about to show you through Remind, 75 cents a piece, and got um, one listing that I just sold and all from out-of-state owners and uh, two more listing appointments I have this week from 500 cards, y'all, 500 postcards, okay? Um, there's a lot that you can do with absentee owners. It's a farm that you can sort of do, right? Um, the next one here is, I just did this too. I haven't gotten the response yet, so I, I, I don't have a result. 
I really, really have a cash buyer that loved this one building of condos in St. Pete. And she was devastated. The wife was devastated that she lost um, the one listing that was in there. And so I put a whole letter together. I may have a buyer for your condo. And you, as you know, the inventory, and it was just so easy to put this together. Remind had an example, actually. I used it and I, I customized it. And I just sent it out to just 121. Um, it won't go, they won't get it. The mail's a little slower right now. So till next week, but I um, I'm, can't wait to see if I at least get one or two calls from 121 letters that I sent out that it works. Now you be careful with this. NAR doesn't like us doing this because they feel that some people aren't doing it right. And they're getting into fair housing ter territory violations. And you don't want to talk about so much your buyer as you have a buyer, they're legitimate. This was a cash buyer and you don't want to have people targeting and doing all that. So be aware. I think as a old broker myself, it's, if you do it properly, I think it's fine to do it, but just, they have to come out and make a statement that, Hey, you could be violating fair housing rights. If you, you know, are um, getting too specific about your buyers. Okay. So I love this idea. Okay. Number five. Oh, here's, here is Matt Emerson designed this for me. So the way Matt works with me is um, I draw a picture and I'm like, I did the work. Okay. This is in this condo community that I'm farming. And I was like, oh my God, man, people's value third quarter of this year over last year, just third quarter had gone up 30 and 35%. I bet people don't know that. And this is the oversized postcard I sent out that got me one listing I've already sold and two more appointments. And I only mailed it to 500 people. Okay. And it went to out of state owners. So just one idea, absentee owners, that was it right here. Um, but good old fashioned. So I've decided I'm going to I'm going to geo farm this area and I'm going to employ tactics like um, a monthly art update all the time, doing open houses, branding my signs, door knocking and door dropping, inviting people, sending out just lists of just solds. That's how people start to see you in anything that you do. That's how it, farming works. Go ahead. It's funny. Well, I was to say it's funny because this would most people would think would be an antiquated way to actually do business, yeah. right? But here's the deal. We talked about saturation earlier of the marketplace. Whereas you used to walk to your post box, you would get a thousand of these things in there. Now you literally get none. Yeah. So Jan exactly. found a way to stand out in the crowd using the most basic time-tested piece of prospecting there is in real estate. So it just goes to show you that you know whatever you concentrate on and whatever you put your effort towards yep. is what's going to work for you. So this inside note, um, there is a company called On Top of the World Real Estate that is owned by this On Top of the World Association here. And somehow they got a copy of this. Somebody turned me in and said I was using On Top of the World as a trademark. I didn't know this. And so I get an email from an attorney saying uh, with an attachment of my thing. And, and I was so, this is what you do. You don't get freaked out by this and saying, hi, you know, we represent on top of the world. And did you know that if you're going to do this, here's the three or four things that you need to do. If you mention on top of the world, you have to use the registered trademark, blah, 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 that your company's not affiliated. And I immediately responded, CC'd my broker and said, Oh, so sorry. Did not know. Is there somebody that I can talk to about this? Or can I send you my next one so that you can tell me it's okay? Because I certainly don't want to violate your, your trademark. And this attorney said, wow, thanks for responding so quickly. Uh, no, we're working. I'll have somebody from on top of the world reach out to you next week uh, and let you know what it has to look like. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to stop mailing. I'll just follow the rules. Somebody didn't like that I was mailing in their area. Okay. So, you know, Push it, push it, be legal, be smart, but, you know, get out there and do something. So 55 plus active, what's your niche? This is what we meant by niches. Are you working military and veterans? Do you like to work with first time home buyers? There's lots of ways to market to groups of people, but do it because you're really into it. You want to know probate or you want to work the luxury market or out here where I am, second homes is huge, right? Um, 55 plus second homes, it's a, it's a good niche. Uh, all right. So farming, farming can work and farming is not just geographic. So I just gave you some other ideas. I'm going to give you two more. Love this idea. I haven't done it here yet in Florida. I got to add this to my list. It's the surname farm. Just think about how cool this is. My last name's O'Brien. I'm going to go find through Remind everybody in the area that I work that's last name is O'Brien. Okay. 
I don't care if it's 10 people or 50 people. I have a client in Vegas, Bonnie, who did this. Uh, she did it on the next one, actually. I don't know if I've had anybody ever do this, but I'm going to go do it. And all I'm going to do is play on the whole O'Brien name. If I'm an O'Brien, you're an O'Brien. If you're thinking about buying or selling in this Tampa Gulf Coast area, don't you want to work with another O'Brien? Let me tell you. So it's the way you introduce yourself. It's super cool idea. And then once a month, you send them an update. You send them your monthly newsletter. Hey, here all. I don't care if it's 20 O'Briens are getting my newsletter. They are going to be immediately connecting because it's a thing. If somebody has... Is your last name Fran really Christmas? Okay, so Fran's going to say, Jan, nobody has my last name. But what I am going to tell Fran is. We are very few, and it's hilarious because I said this would be a brilliant idea. It is, because here's the thing, <laughs> Fran. If you found two people that own property that have your last name, they are working with you. Okay. Right. So, so, <laughs> all right. So I love it. I love your name. That is brilliant. We have a schistimus on our team and they usually say it's like Christmas, but schistimus. Okay. Uh, that's how they first introduced themselves to me. So you have fun with this surname farm. And the last one is the hometown farm. The hometown farm is for those of you that haven't grown up in wherever you're working right now. So if I am in uh, like right here, I'm in Florida and I have a Boston connection. I was born in Boston and this is a, gr a good idea for me because um, you make connections with people. This is about building instant rapport. The last name is one idea. So now there are a lot of people who snowbird down here in Florida. So the next idea for me is let me go find, this is for listings. Let me go find everybody that owns a home in the area I service that has a mailing address in Massachusetts. Okay. Now I'm going to play up the whole, I'm originally from Boston. I'm the fan of the Bruins and this and that. And I'm your Boston, Florida connection if you need to sell your home. And then I can introduce them to all the other things that I do. Okay. So that's the hometown farm. And those can be small farms. And that's Bonnie. Bonnie was from Wisconsin and she lives in Vegas still. I bet she still has the Wisconsin farm. And she uh, found like 160 people or so that own property in Vegas. And that became her Wisconsin farm. And she did this introductory thing and made all these Wisconsin connections with the people and where she used to live, et cetera. She got at least four or five pieces of business from those original six months of mailing because it's like, people are like, wow, okay. We didn't know a real estate agent. And this is how I had my, I got my guy. We didn't, I wanted, I didn't know my property was worth that much. And I don't really know a real estate agent in Clearwater. I got your card. Um, will you be my real estate agent? That's how it worked for me. Okay. But now imagine if you had something in common because you're from the same hometown or you have the same last name, it just puts the bond even tighter together. Any questions on that? All right. More good stuff. You know, really seriously, if you did just two or three of those seven, <laughs> you're in right, Jan? Yeah, I a hundred percent agree. I'm, I'm working on at least three of them. I might always do sphere. I am 100% doing farming, you know, farming in an area, yeah. and I'm really focused on absentee owners right now. That's what's been working for me. Very, very cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to get on uh, to sit, watch the whole workshop. All three uh, modules that we uh, have talked about the last couple of weeks here. Go over to WBNL Podcast. Nope. Go over to wlcoaching.com, click the button and join our private Facebook group called The Dream Builders. So we want you to get in there. And not only are you going to get to see all of this workshop, but we have a live course, a live uh, training or workshop or mastermind, whatever you want to call it, uh, monthly in the group as well. So we can share ideas and grow our community. Jenna Bryan, any final words? No, I, I just I just hope everybody has been working on what they want to accomplish in the new year. This is the time to do all that. We've, we've got so much free free things from, from the business plan on to this entire workshop, which you can watch the replays of, get all this free stuff. And it's time to get busy, right? It's time to jump in, get yourself ready for a great 2022. I personally can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be a good year, I'm telling you. So, all right, everyone, we will see you next week on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And in the meantime, be forever wandering, but not lost.